A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Jesus said, Woe to you, Pharisees, for you tithe mint and rue and herbs of all kinds, and neglect justice and the love of God. It is these you ought to have practised without neglecting the others. Woe to you, Pharisees, for you love to have the seat of honour in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces. Woe to you, for you are like unmarked graves and people walk over them without realising it. One of the lawyers answered him, Teacher, when you say these things, you insult us too. And he said, Woe also to you, lawyers, for you load people with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not lift a finger to ease them. Incredibly, this is dinner party conversation that this scene brings out. This is Jesus rather shockingly attacking those with whom he is sharing a meal. And one can see that the host and the guests at this extraordinary gathering are feeling rather taken aback by the very harsh words and thoughts that Jesus is uttering. And they probably shock us, or at least they should shock us. Jesus is attacking those who are good, well-meaning religious types, or so they think. When I look at all the tasks, all the duties that have to be fulfilled in the running of St James Cathedral, and we're a fairly liberal and easygoing establishment, part of me would be very keen to see a few more people take part in the various things that need to happen so that our liturgical duties, our administrative duties, our social justice duties, all of that could run slightly more smoothly and with a slightly greater band of volunteers. And if you think that means you and you'd like to volunteer, please get in touch with us, of course. Jesus is talking to people who do take their religion seriously. And I guess you do if you're listening to a daily sermon on a weekday morning. So what's gone wrong? Well, what's gone wrong is somehow the moral, spiritual, religious imperative behind people's actions has got a bit disconnected. Jesus doesn't want them to give up on their ritual actions, keep tithing those herbs, he says, but make sure you know why you're doing it. Make sure you know the real point of any and all of this, which is to bring about God's love and make it more fully known and to build God's kingdom. T.S. Eliot, in the play Murder in the Cathedral, famously said the last temptation is the greatest treason to do the right thing for the wrong reason. That was the trap into which the lawyers and Pharisees had fallen. And dinner party etiquette or not, Jesus was going to remind them of the realities of how they were behaving and what was going on inside them. And as we take our religion seriously, and as we as individuals and a church community try and fulfil all the things that we believe to be necessary, let's make sure that we are doing this for the right reason. The reason being to build God's kingdom and to share God's love, from which everything else flows. But if we don't have that in the first place, then the rest sort of becomes not worth it. So let's hear Jesus' words, and if we need to be rebuked by Jesus, let's accept that and try and grow and be bigger and greater and more wonderful in our discipleship and our love. Amen.